In the previous tutorial, we connected two LIP2P nodes. When a LIP2P node is connected to another node, a protocol from a transport layer is used. If you don't specify a transport, then TCP is used by default. Usually, you don't deal with protocols from a transport layer directly, so LIP2P offers an abstraction called a stream. In LIP2P, a stream is a logical channel of data that runs on top of a transport protocol. The streams allow you to define your own application protocols using the same TCP or UDP connection. When you create a stream, you must provide an application protocol name. This application protocol specifies the kind of data that will flow through the stream. In this example, we open a connection between the two nodes by using the TCP transport protocol. Then, we use a TCP connection to create two streams, one for the create order protocol and another one for the list orders protocol. Although you can use any protocol name, there is a convention that you should follow. The protocol name should be between slashes, followed by the version of the protocol. To read the data of a stream, you define a handler. Every application protocol that you define should have a handler, where you can manage the data that you received. To complete this tutorial, make sure that you have Go installed. And if you don't have it already, clone the Launchpad Tutorial Repository, which contains the template that you will use in this tutorial. First, we are going to open the template that we are going to use. In the Launchpad Tutorial Repository, open the LIP2P Handlers folder. Then, in the App subfolder, open the main Go file. The main function is the entry point of the application. In this function, we create two LIP2P nodes. As you can see, we keep the target node information in a variable called info. This variable is passed as a parameter to the source node. Then, the source node uses the multi-address information to connect to the target node. Now, we can move on to the run target node function. In this function, we create a LIP2P node that listens in a random port. Then, we return the information of the node. In LIP2P, nodes communicate by opening streams of data. In this example, the target node will listen for stream connections using a stream handler. The handler is a function that manages the data of a stream. You can create a stream handlers for different protocols. In this example, we are going to use the hello protocol but your application can use any other custom protocol. To add a new handler, we use the setStreamHandler function. As parameters, we pass the name of the protocol and the Go function that will handle the stream. First, we are going to log when the stream is created. Then, we are going to delegate reading the stream to another function, the readHell protocol function. If no errors have occurred when reading, we reset the stream. In the case of errors, we close the stream. Now, we can move on to the read hello protocol function. First, we create a reader object by using the Buffio library. Then, we invoke the readString method of the reader. With this method, we read the content as a string until we get to a specific character. In this case, we use the line break as an ending character. This means that we read the stream until the first line break. As you can see, we store the message in a variable and we check for errors. Now, we are going to log the message and the ID of the sender node. In our application, the sender will be the source node. The sender information is provided by the connection object of the stream, so we store the connection in a variable. Then, we create the log. The first parameter of the log is the sender ID. We can get the ID by invoking the remote peer method. The second parameter is the message. Finally, because no errors have occurred in this function, we simply return nil. Now we can move on to the run source node function, which is the last function we have to complete today. As you can see, we first create a new node. This node is then connected to the target node using the information that we get as a parameter. Now that we have the two nodes connected, we are going to open a stream for the hello protocol. We can open a new stream by using the new stream method. As parameters, we provide a context, the target node ID, 
and the name of the protocol. We store this stream in a variable and we check for errors. Now that we have a stream, we are going to send a hello from launchpad message. Remember that the target node expects the message to end with a line break. That's the reason why we are adding a line break at the end of our message. Without the line break, the target node won't be able to read the message correctly. Then we simply add an informative log. Finally, we use the write method of the stream to send the message. This method expects a byte array as a parameter, so we have to convert the stream message. Next, we check for errors. To test the application, we open a command line terminal and we move to the app directory. Then, we run the Go program. As you can see, the source node sends the message. Then, the target node opens the stream and reads the message.